इंटीग्रेशन टेस्ट सो इंटीग्रेशन टेस्टिंग मीन्स सो लास्ट क्लास में डिस्कस यूनिट टेस्टिंग वॉट इज यूनिट टेस्टिंग यूनिट टेस्टिंग मीन्स वैलिडेटिंग इंडिविजुअल कॉम्पोनेंट्स विथ इन द सिस्टम वैलिडेटिंग इंडिविजुअल कॉम्पोनेंट्स विथ इन द सिस्टम इज कॉल्ड एज यूनिट टेस्टिंग इट इज डन बाय द डेवलपर्स डन बाय द डेवलपर्स I can check it. Suppose the application is there. Five modules are there: login, savings, deposit, withdraws, funds transfer. So each and every developer. they are tested their individual module that type of testing is called as unit testing so to conduct that unit testing they can use white box testing techniques conditional coverage loops coverage statements coverage yesterday completed so what is integration integration means after unit testing those individual modules these five modules they are connected in order to form one system so after unit testing those individual modules are connected in order to form the system then one bank application is ready one bank application is ready so now what we are validating the interface the connectivity between these modules we are checking that type of testing is called as integration testing validating interface or connectivity between the units is called as integration testing suppose here it is a four modules are there so okay it is fine suppose in real time in one application there are some 15 to 20 modules are there 15 to 20 modules are there so module is nothing but some portion of application is called as a one module which contains related functionalities so in real time it is not possible to develop all the modules construction at a time maybe because 20 modules need to take some time so at that time we are using two types of approaches are there in integration one is big bang approach incremental approach maybe because in practical real time if so many modules are there so all the modules construction may not possible at a time and due to that reason they follow two approaches in integration one is big bang approach second one is incremental approach so what is integration after unit testing those individual components are connected in order to form the system so what is integration testing definition validating interface or connectivity between units or components or modules is called as integration testing so we are validating the interfaces connectivity between the modules that type of testing is called as integration testing integration testing so just now we discussed so suppose if so many modules are there so all the modules construction may not possible to complete at the same time in that case we are using two approaches are there so in practical all the modules construction 
may not possible at same time in that case we use integration testing approaches so they are using two types are there one is big bang approach second one is incremental approach so what is the big bang and what is the incremental big bang means this approach says what it says suppose in all the modules maybe 1 2 3 4 5 modules are there four modules construction may be completed remaining one module is under development but even though wait until those module construction also completed so big bang approach what it says that approach says when some of the modules are under construction or under construction we have to wait compulsory you have to wait until those modules also develop to perform integration suppose maybe 20 modules are there in 20 18 modules are completed construction completed two are under development but even though what it says big big approach wait until those two also completed so this big bang approach is the old approach why because due to this big bang approach wastage of time time consuming process why because wastage of my time 18 modules are completed if i am given this 18 modules to my test engineers they will test it so time consuming process resources will be ideal means test engineers they sitting ideal and in time delivery is not possible so big bang is the old approach incremental means suppose in the 20 modules five modules are completed okay give this five modules to the test engineer after that they can add two modules three modules four modules module by module they can add it that is called as incremental wise they can test it so see first big bang approach this approach says when some of the modules are under construction then we need to wait until those modules also develop to perform integration test so compulsory we have to wait whenever all the module construction is completed then only they can start the integration so due to this big bang what are the disadvantages means time consuming process resources will be ideal in time delivery is not possible so these are all the three problems so due to that reason all the company they are following incremental approach so by incremental means incremental wise we can test the application suppose three modules are completed okay they are given to the testers after that they can add one more two modules four modules five one like that incremental wise they can miss 
so this approach says when some of the modules are under construction we can start integration testing suppose here with the trials funds transfer is under construction so login savings deposit is ready okay give these three modules to some test engineers they will test it so based on the availability of the modules again in incremental wise three approaches are there top down approach bottom up approach hybrid sandwich approach top down means top to bottom we will discuss so in incremental approach it says when some of the modules still under construction no problem we can start integration testing with the help of stub and driver so based on availability of the modules how many modules are available 2 3 4 again there are three approaches are there in incremental top down approach bottom up approach hybrid or sandwich approach see incremental this approach says when some of the modules are under construction we can start integration testing with the help of stub and driver so what is this stub and driver we will discuss so here take the sample example in this example maybe these three are under development login savings is ready okay give this approach or suppose login savings is not ready only deposit withdrawal ready okay give this to the testing unit so based on availability of the modules how many modules are available based on availability of modules we use incremental integration approaches three approaches are there top down bottom up hybrid or sandwich so based on the availability of module we can decide which one is suitable we can follow so first one is top down top down means suppose in my application this is the main module these are the sub modules are there suppose any sub module is under construction any sub module is under construction we are started testing with main module to sub module means top to bottom we can test it suppose if any module is under construction if i am clicking it if it is not opened so we can give one message temporary message that is the page is under construction message we will provide that is called as a stub stub is nothing but a dummy program it is given by the developers only which will gives a temporary message see it is the stub top down means suppose main module sub modules sub module 2 is under construction so if i am clicking on this it will give one message to the tester temporary message page is under construction that is called as a stub stub is nothing but a dummy sub program which is developed by the developers it will give a temporary message and control back to the main module suppose if any website is there if it is under construction okay it will give some messages suppose you can see here everything is available in my website in this website everything is fine suppose if anything is under construction if i am unable to complete it i will give one message suppose you can check it here if i am clicking on hms as it will open one application if i am clicking on this i will give one miss cannot select the database why because here database is not there so it is giving one message so 
it is under construction suppose if it is available okay if you click at home i said it will display some messages suppose you can see here facebook i don't have any twitter if you can click on this no it's not working suppose here you can see here page down there are some screen in three click it not opening why because there is only dummy links are there i'm not giving anything here but you can see if i'm clicking on about us yes it will display some about us like that if anything is under construction is sub module is under construction developer they can give one sub program that is stub stub is a temporary message which will give to the test engineer that page is under construction so top to bottom we can test it main module to sub module we are testing so first approach top down approach in this approach we perform integration testing from main module to sub module when some of the sub modules are under construction so this is the diagram for that so any sub module is under construction they will write one program that program is called as a stub stub is a one dummy sub program given by the developers when we go for using stub whenever sub module is under construction they can use stub stub will write control back to the main module with some temporary results this is the result the page is under construction so like that so seeing stub it is a dummy sub program developed by the developers when they go for stub stub is used then sub module is under construction stub will write control back to main module with some temporary stub is called program stub is called program that is the top one. bottom up of means suppose may all the sub modules are completed main module is under construction then we can start testing with sub module to main module at that time they can use the driver driver means suppose here in this page all the sub modules are completed in hms suppose this login page is not satisfied by the client so they are asking please change these pages so at the time compulsory without you giving username and password it is not possible to log into the application but internally all the sub modules are completed so how to test this main page yet they can use main main module they can add the driver driver what is the driver driver means it is also one temporary program given by the programmers but a driver will establish connection to the sub modules whereas stub does not provide any connection stub is only it will give one message only okay the page is under construction it is not developed database is not like that a message will give stub but the driver will provide connection to the sub modules why because this is under construction i need to check the sub module one sub module two so how to provide connection with the help of this driver so who will develop driver will be developed by the developers 
so based on the availability of the modules developer they can decide okay stub we can use or driver we can use that that is bottom up approach when main module is under construction then we perform integration testing from the sub modules the help of driver so what is the driver it is a temporary program developed by developers driver is used when main module is under construction driver will provide connection to the that's why we can call driver is a calling program why because by using the driver we are providing connection to the sub module that is why stub is a called program driver is a calling program so stub will write only message temporary message but driver will establish connection to the sub module so that's why it is a calling program that is a called program so who will take care it will take care by the developers only no hybrid and sandwich means so suppose when some of the sub modules are connection sometimes main module is also connection then they can use both stub and driver in one application then that is called as hybrid or sandwich means combination of these two is called as hybrid so white box means it is done by the developers black box means done by the test engineer so combination of white box and black box is called as a gray box testing already we discussed in testing methodologies same like that here also hybrid or sandwich model means both if they can use both stub and driver in single application that is called as hybrid or sandwich approach here when main module and some of the sub modules under construction then we use both step and driver to perform integration testing among the available not you that is the top down bottom up and hybrid and in this integration again there are two levels of integration testings are there one is low level integration and high level integration so what is the difference between low level and high level low level means suppose within one application within one system the components we are checking that is called as low level means only one application either say name by mahesh or either we go for spicejet gmail facebook 
within one application components i am checking that is called as a low level suppose i am checking the interface between the gmail application modules compose inbox draft that is called as low level that is called as inter system testing so low level means validating interface or connectivity within the single system component is called as a low level and there is one more is there high level what is high level high level means the connectivity between the multiple different systems and uh, different machines suppose different systems means if we are going to the any e seva center by using e seva center i am able to pay electricity bills i am able to pay phone bills government taxes everything so by using one application we are connected to the multiple applications suppose you can see if you go to the google from this google here multiple connectivity is there if you are connected to the play store youtube gmail google drive multiple suppose sometimes if i am something open it is asking log in with facebook or gmail suppose i have an account in hcfc bank in my hand hcfc bank debit card is there but sometimes i am using icic bank atm hcf debit card is one i am using atm card mission is different so we are connecting interface between different systems and different applications called as high level integration only within the one system that is called as a low level integration so we can perform both either low level integration testing and high level integration testing integration testing levels there are two levels of integration testing levels are there one is low level integration testing low level means within the one system component so it is also called as inter system testing why because within one system components i am checking due to that reason it is also called as inter system testing this is also called as inter system testing so what is low level validating interface or connectivity within the system components this called as low level so we are validating the connectivity within the single system components is called as a low level integration testing example verify interface between gmail application module that is called as a low level why because only one system single system components i am checking that's why it is called as a low level integration high level means multiple systems or multiple applications high level validating interface or connectivity between different systems or app 
applications is called as high level integration test means one application to another application if connectivity is there i am checking that connectivity is properly working or not that type of testing is called as high level integration testing example verify connectivity from e server application to other applications like airtel bills electricity government taxes etc right because by using one e server application i am able to connect it to the multiple services multiple applications that is high level and one more example verify using hdfc bank debit card in icici bank atm center so that is also different though. one card we are using in another machine so that is also called as a high level why because here i am also checking the connectivity between the different applications and the different systems so now who will perform this integration testing who will perform this integration both the developers and testers but the difference is developers they will perform integration testing after unit testing by using white box testing techniques whereas test engineer also performs integration testing during system testing with the help of black box testing technique so both the developers testers will perform the difference is developer they can use white box testing techniques test engineer we are using black box testing techniques next note integration testing can be performed by developers and test engineers so in that developers will perform integration testing after unit testing by using white box testing techniques test engineers also performs integration testing during by using black box testing techniques so who will perform both the developers will perform and the testing will perform the difference is developers they can use white box testing technique as a test engineer we are using the black box testing techniques at the time of system testing that is the fourth level fourth level integration testing so first level review on requirements second level review on designing third level unit testing fourth level integration testing next fifth level is system testing So what is the system testing after unit testing and integration testing both completed now 
one application is ready for the testing purpose one application is ready that is called as build initial build given by the developers to the separate test engineers what is the build 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 means generally the set of integrated modules is an executable form of application why because whenever any application is completed developers they didn't give any source code to any test engineer they never give any source code yes the source code will be converted into an executable form of application that is called as a build suppose if you can see if i want to open the firefox how to open it generally here shortcut is there otherwise go to the c drive program files see somewhere else mozilla firefox is available mm -hmm. it is not there program files 86 mozilla 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 firefox see they are given one dot exe firefox dot exe if you open it then firefox will be opened see so that mozilla company they didn't give any source code the system related files, DLL files, EXE files, everything they are given. If you click on that, browser will open. So, any developer, they never give any source code to anybody. The code will be converted in executable form. So, what is the build? Build means set of integrated modules and executable form of applications called as build. In general, build means if a developer will give an application to the test engineer within one organization that is called as a build in general the internal release of application from the developer to the test engineers we call it as a build so whenever we are receiving the stable build as a test engineer our responsibility is to perform system testing by using black box testing techniques so what is the system testing Unit means validating individual components. Integration means the interface between the modules. System means we are validating the entire application, the whole application. Suppose in this 5Z, if you go to this, there are some links are there. Okay, see, airports, corporate view, fleet, carriers. So everything, pin to pin, we are checking. So the whole application we are checking, that type of testing is called as system. System means we are validating the whole application based on client requirements and expectations is called as a system testing unit means individual modules within the system integration means only the interface is working or not between the modules system means the entire application based on the client requirements and expectations that type of testing is called as a system testing so in this system testing it is the main way because it is conducted by the test engineer Again, there are two types are there, functionality testing and non-functionality. So system testing. After unit testing and integration testing. Development team. will release initial build to the separate testing team. What is a build? Build means set of integrated modules and executable form of the application is called as a build so in general in general build means the internal release of application from the developers to the test engineers we call it as build 
So build means two definitions. One is the set of integrated modules and executable form of application is also called as a build. But internally within organization, if developers will release one application to the tester, that is called as a build. So after receiving stable build from the developers, as a test engineer will perform system testing by using black box testing so what is system testing definition validating the whole system based on time requirements and expectations so what is system testing validating the whole system entire system based on the client requirements and expectations is called as a system testing so in this Again, there are two types of testing techniques. In system testing. One is functionality testing. Second one. testing so what is functionality so functionality means based on the client requirements here you can see I am telling two words here client requirements and expectations thus requirements are nothing but functionalities expectations is nothing but non functionality so functionality testing is also called as requirements testing so what is that functionality means Validating one application functional behavior based on the operations performed by the users called as a functional. Any type of application functionality testing is important and mandatory. Due to that reason, every organization they are maintaining functionality testing team. So how to perform this functionality testing? Either by manually they can perform or by using some functional testing tools like QTP. Selenium, Silk Test, Rational Robot, these tools they can use. For any application, suppose if functionalities are not working, no one can use that application. Due to that reason, every organization they are maintaining separate functionality testing team. So functionality testing is also called as requirements testing. So what is functionality testing means? Validating application functional behavior based on user operations. Sorry, it is also called as experiment testing. So, validating application functional behavior based on user business transactions is called as functionality testing so any type of application functionality testing is mandatory and important mandatory and important due to that reason
organization maintains separate functionality testing team how to perform so functionality testing can be performed either by manually or using some of the functional testing tools like selenium qtp silk test lisa Tosca, Cucumber, Codery, all these are called as a functional tools. So what are the factors we are validating under this functionality? What are the validating factors? So some organization they can use manually, some organization they can use functional testing tools. So already in automation, we discussed it. There are four types of functional, sorry, four types of automation tools are there. Functional tools, performance tools, security tools defect tracking tools so functional tools means to verify these functionality testing we go for these functional tools there is one non-functionality testing is their performance to conduct that performance testing they can use performance tool those are load under jmeter like that so what are the factors we are validating under this functionality There are six factors are there. First, object properties coverage. The six are very, very important. Error handling coverage. Third one, input domain coverage. calculations coverage database coverage finally links coverage one two three four five six yes object properties coverage Error handling coverage, input domain coverage, calculations coverage, database coverage, and the links coverage. These are all the six very, very important factors in every functionality testing. Why? Because in any application, these are all the mandatory functionalities. So to explain all these six, it will take one hour time, one session. I will explain all these with examples. So what is object? What are the properties are there? How to perform that object properties? How to conduct the error handling coverage? What is the input domain? Input domain means there are two techniques are there, BB and DCP. In previously testing methodologies under black box, I am given only definition BVA ECP, boundary value analysis, equivalent class partition. Some applications, calculations are very, very important. Database is there, every application, front end is there, back end is there. Links in a web based application, compulsory links are there. Suppose in SpiceJet, you can see Google, these are all the links. Suppose go to my application, these are all the links. So like that, any application, these six are mandatory functionalities. Object properties coverage, error handling coverage, input domain coverage, calculations coverage, database coverage, and links coverage. So in tomorrow's session, I will explain all the six. After that, non-functionality. Again, in non-functionality also, there are some... 10 testing techniques are there. GUI, usability, security, recovery testing, compatibility, configuration, comparative, installation, sanitation, and performance. Like that, 10 testing techniques are there in that non-functionality. But those are not important. Those are only the customer expectations only. But functionalities are important and mandatory. These are called as customer requirements. 
let's say you are given what is system testing validating the whole system based on client requirements and expectations he is called as system testing so requirements are nothing but a functionalities expectations is nothing but a non functionality testing so tomorrow's class i will explain all these six after that i go for that non functionalities and testing techniques